Happy Black History Month, which is all of February this year, 2022. And also, Happy Valentine's Day, which is the 14th day of February, 2022. So, hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm getting my baby ready for what I thought <laughs> was going to be a early day um, Valentine's Day outing because I had to go back to my specialist um, for my two week checkup. Well, it's actually been a little bit longer than two weeks, but this is when they could fit me in. So I'm getting her ready the night before and I just knew we was going to do like a mini outing before my husband got off of work and he surprised me today. He took off of work so he could go to the specialist or to the doctor with me and I was just like, oh, <laughs> like he never takes off work even if he has to go to the doctor himself or he has to go to the dentist he'll go to the dentist get the work done and go back to work like i am so blessed so blessed and um i just i don't know i'm just happy today <laughs> so i wanted to come in and show y'all a changing of my baby and getting ready to do something different so actually for this valentine's day um my husband and i went to a restaurant called black rock and at first the first time we went i was like why would i pay somebody to go cook my own meat <laughs> but y'all if you ever been to black rock it's a different experience it is so good like i could cook the steak at home clearly i could but it's just something about the steak and the ambiance and sitting there talking it's just it's nice and i really enjoyed myself and today they had a special um it was a four course for two people for 70 dollars but we didn't go with that we went with what we always get which is the dynamic duo and um, I had mashed potatoes. Okay, so we had lobster dip for appetizer. And there was some lobster dip left over. And he was like, well, why don't you just put in your mashed potatoes? Oh, my goodness. So I had Cajun shrimp um, steak that I cooked myself with the different butters and seasonings. Then I had my mashed potatoes down. And I put some of the lobster dip in it. Oh, my goodness. This was the best <laughs> loaded mashed potatoes I have ever had. It had even had, because the lobster dip had fresh tomatoes and green onions on top. So all of that was mixed into my mashed potatoes, which, by the way, were garlic mashed potatoes. So <laughs> it was delicious. And then we were so full. Well, he finished his food. I didn't finish my food. And um, we went to VG's and I had been wanting carrot cake. VG's grocery store has the best carrot cake other than you doing it yourself. It's got walnuts, carrot pieces, raisins, and it's got cream cheese frosting. Ugh. So, <laughs> yes. But um, I wanted to hurry up and get this video out. I have planned to do um, an upload of what my hair looks like too, but that's going to have to wait till tomorrow because I'm getting ready to go in here and spend some time, some more time with my husband. We don't wait until holidays to celebrate each other, but on the holidays, we kind of go a little bit above and beyond. So it's like... If I'm out at the store and I see something that he likes or he sees something that I like, we just get it for each other. It don't have to be special or I'll be like, oh, he would like this candy bar or he hasn't had this bag of chips in a while. You know, it's just the little stuff. So <sighs> big holidays. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> but we did have fun. So, um, down in the comment section, let me know what you did for Valentine's Day. Did, were you able to celebrate with your loved one? Um, did you go out? Did you play with your dolls? Did you do spend time with your other ha hobbies? Like, what did you do today? It was a um, video another um lady that does dial videos and she was saying how she did an outing and somebody was real rude to her and it made her not want to do it anymore and i left a comment and told her listen people don't message you or call you or anything check in to see if you're okay with what they're doing so for example if your friend likes to play with trains they don't call you up and say hey so and so kid I play with my train today or is it okay if I play with my train this way or is it okay if I play with my train that way like people don't call you and ask for permission to do the stuff that they want to do so don't look for somebody to be okay with the things that you're doing don't it's just i just want to encourage you we only get one life when it's time when your number and your name is called and you stand before god god is going to ask you what you did he's not going to ask anybody else what they did to you to make you do it or what you did to them to make them do it. he ain't gonna ask none of that he gonna say answer for what you did and since i can't answer for you and you can't answer for me and we can't answer for nobody else do what makes you happy I, just do what makes you happy and that's what I wanted to uh, do my lock video about. I wanted to say that locks have taught me to be confident in whatever choice I make. Because it's a ton of people that don't like my hair. That's fine. It's a ton of people that don't like locks. They call them dirty. They call them nasty. I'm going to get all into that in, the, um, in my lock video. But... I don't need anybody's permission to wear my hair the way I want to wear it. Do what you do with confidence. So, yeah. I want to keep talking, but I don't want to keep rambling. So, I may... Oh, my goodness. I may add a little music. Let me check and see what's on here. And I'll put a little music to it. Because, what, it's only like a minute and 42 seconds left. So... All right, it was good checking in with y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all later. Remember, be kind to others and most importantly, be kind to yourself. Talk to y'all later.